This right here is the Brother SE1900, and it is currently the machine that I am using to embroider all of my embroidery designs that you guys seen on my Instagram page. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you everything you'll need in order to start your own embroidery journey, whether you're doing it for business or personal use, doesn't matter. This is going to be the beginner tools that you'll definitely need in order to get the gear going. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first thing that you're gonna need, it's gonna be stabilizing paper. Now, stabilizing paper, it is a crucial thing to have. It is very important that you buy the correct stabilizing paper for the fabric you're gonna be using. For example, if you're gonna be embroidering in hoodies, sweatshirts, crew necks, and stuff like that, you'll definitely wanna get three ounce to 2.5 ounce stabilizing paper cutaway paper. There are a few other uh, stabilizing papers for different fabrics and different materials. For example, the three ounce or the 2.5 ounce cutaway stabilizing paper. If you are gonna be dealing with fabrics that aren't super stretchy, for example, hats or bags like backpacks or tote bags, I would then suggest you get um, tear away stabilizing paper. Like the name suggests, it is a stabilizing paper that you can just rip away. For example, this stabilizing paper right here, it is tear away. And what gives it away? The fact that you can just tear it away. And then this other stabilizing paper, this is a 2.5 ounce cutaway stabilizing paper. Now, if I were to try to pull it apart, it's just not gonna happen unless you're Hulk. Then you can definitely, definitely rip this apart. That is the first thing that you'll definitely need aside from the embroidery machine. It is super important that you get the correct stabilizing paper. If you are too nervous about where to buy it and stuff like that, I will leave links in the description below that you can click on to buy the stabilizing paper or the other things that I will be talking about in this video. The next thing that you'll definitely need for your embroidery process is gonna be the threads. It is very important that you purchase good quality threads. If you are looking to get the best quality threads, I would recommend these two companies, Isacor 40 or Moderna 40. I will be leaving links in the description below for the website where you can purchase these threads. Now, it is very important that whether you purchase Isacord or Moderna, you, that you purchase the 40. So it's gonna say Isacord 40 or Moderna 40. Now you're probably wondering, okay, so why is he saying get this 40 neon poly whatsoever kind of thread. Now the reason why it's very important that you get that kind of thread, it's because of its rating. The neon poly 40, will save you headaches from when you're doing designs. The threads won't be super thick. They'll be just thick enough to where they won't rip and they won't cause the machine to jam. So these threads right here are the Isacore 40. I do like some of the colors that they have and the quality these threads offer. And just the overall colors look amazing on the fabrics when you use these cords, just as well as the Moderna. Now, I don't know which company is best. Personally, if I had to choose between one or the other, I wouldn't choose. Now, one thing that I do like about the Moderna ones is that you don't have to buy these little thread holders because you don't want your thread all over the place. Um, these little Moderna bobbins or thread holders come with these little cut thingies where you can basically wrap around the thread and then just sticks on there and then it stays nice and tight right here so that, um, you know, your threads aren't loose everywhere versus where Isacord doesn't really have that option. So you have to kind of like turn these and then tie them or buy these little rubber things so that the thread doesn't, you know, go all over the, the place essentially. So the next thing that you're gonna need for your embroidery journey is gonna be the correct needle sizes. Believe it or not, there are different sizes that do different things when embroidering. People just sometimes assume that the needle that comes with the machine is more than enough, but you'd be surprised. Um, so the importance of getting the correct needle is gonna impact the quality and overall performance of your machine and your embroidery designs. So the needle size that I recommend you get is gonna be the uh, 75 by 11. Um, so these are the needles that I purchased. I, as you can tell, I have a ton of them in these little bags, but they're all 75 by 11. Now, the machine that I use, the Brother SE 1900, uses a specific type of needle. Most machines 
that are very industrial don't really use the same needles that this machine uses, but it is the same size as 75 by 11. Now, the difference between the other needles and this needle is that the, this machine's needles have a flat edge where other machines don't really have the flat edge. It's just like a overall cylinder. Um, and then the brother machines tend to have a, a needle where it has like a flat surface. Let me show you guys here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this surface right here of the needle is somewhat flat and most of the other needles that the other machines use are a bit more rounded like so but this machine has it to where one edge of the needle is basically flat now the next thing that you are going to need for your embroidery process it's going to be bobbins now there are a few different types of bobbins that you can purchase. Um, some machines can even allow you to basically wind your own bobbins in case you didn't wanna buy more of these because it can get a little spendy. Um, although I personally don't like adjusting my machine to embroidery and then to re-roll the bobbin. So I just end up buying more bobbins because I'm lazy sometimes. Now, for the Brother SE machine that I have here, the SE 1900, that machine uses bobbin type A, also known as type 15. Also, it is very, very important that whichever machine you are using, you get the correct bobbins for it. Otherwise, you won't be able to do any of your work. So here are a bunch of other tools that you'll definitely need, but I could say that these are probably optional. Not really, but can be optional. So write these down. So to start off with, you'll definitely need some sort of ruler, whether it's one of these or one of those uh, stretchy thingies that people use to measure clothing and stuff like that. You'll definitely need some sort of thing to measure. There's going to be a lot of measuring involved, okay? Now, the next one seems kind of silly, but, you know, it never hurts to have more than what you need, right? So, the next thing that I would say you will definitely need is a bunch of hoops. Your machine most likely will come with the hoop that it uses, but I highly suggest you buy more hoops, essentially, because you never really know when you're gonna need more of them. Um, again, I mentioned the Brother SE uses three different size hoops, but I actually have two of the same and then these two other sizes. And again, the reason why is because you never know when maybe this one's gonna break and then maybe this one's gonna break. So what are you gonna do once you no longer have hoops? You're gonna be out of luck. So um, even though your machine does come with the hoop, I suggest buying extras just in case you need them. Also, having more hoops will make your job go a little bit faster since you don't have to wait around for the design to be done while you're hooping the next one, preparing it for the machine. And then once that one's done, you'll basically have like a rotation kind of going around. So having extra hoops, definitely a must. But again, 100% optional to have extra hoops, really up to you. The next tools that I highly recommend you get but can be somewhat optional would be scissors and many different sizes. Now, big scissors are definitely gonna be needed to either cut away fabric or basically cut away the cutaway stabilizing paper, you know? So definitely are gonna need scissors. Um, these little ones with curved edges, I really love these a lot. And I tend to use these often to basically cut away threads that are just extra laying around. And the fact that they're curved, it's super helpful to just kind of go and scoop them up and then cut them off essentially. So highly recommend getting scissors. It'll definitely make your job a whole lot easier. Um, again, I could say these are optional, but not really. Highly recommend you get a few different sizes just to have to cut things off because most likely you will be cutting things off. Now these little guys are just some clamps that we picked up at Home Depot. Now these are 100% optional, but they're super, super useful. Whether you are embroidering in your machine or you just need to clamp your clothes down on the table when you're prepping it with the stabilizing paper just so that it doesn't move around when you're hooping and stuff like that. Speaking of hoops, I almost forgot to mention this. There are some machines out there that take what is known as super hoops. Super hoops are definitely a life changing thing. Maybe when I make enough money, I'll buy one of those machines that take the super hoops and then I'll buy some super hoops and then I can tell you guys all about the super hoops. They're awesome. 
Unfortunately, the machine that I have cannot take those super hoops and there's a bunch of other machines that cannot and will not work with super hoops because they are designed for major or industrial machines, which is nice if you have one of those. And then another tool that I would say is definitely 100% optional, but super useful to have is would be lighters. Now, the reason why I say this is optional is because when you're embroidering, there's a lot of loose threads that you might want to cut, but burning them is a little bit quicker and you don't really damage the clothes. You don't damage any of it. And you can just use a lighter to burn off the um, threads that are just hanging out and stuff like that. Definitely a whole lot faster than cutting every single one of them. Super, super, super useful to have one of these. I think everybody has these, so you probably don't even have to buy one. Now, one of the last tools that I would say are necessary and your machine might have already come with this tool, but cleaning kit for your machine, your machine should have already come with a cleaning kit. Um, the only thing that I can think of that your machine didn't come with would probably be machine oil. Now, a lot of these companies do recommend you taking this for service um, once a year, just so that they do a proper cleaning and maintenance on the machine. However, you can do some sort of maintenance on your own. And I highly recommend you do that if you are running a embroidery machine at home. It's highly recommended that you do self maintenance on it because there is gonna be a lot of basically fuss underneath it that should be cleaned off. And if you don't clean it, your machine can and will run into problems. So cleaning the machine and lubricating it is definitely a must. Um, this right here um, is an ordinary bottle that people use for their skin, but I rinsed it out, cleaned it, and put in my machine oil, and that's how I stored it. Alrighty, and one more thing that I almost forgot to mention was the temporary adhesive. It is very important that you purchase this, especially because it's something that you'll need in order to attach the stabilizing paper with your fabric. And this is literally the brand I would recommend. There's a bunch of other ones that you can kind of go with, but this is definitely the one that I would personally recommend. But anyway, guys, that'll be everything for this video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button to watch more videos like this. I will be having tutorials on how to embroider. I will also be having tutorials on how to use this machine properly, how to set the tension and stuff like that. So if this is something that will help you out, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell for sure so that you can get more helpful videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.